not feeling well. Mm. I think I must have come down with... Uh, 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 Maybe you picked up a space virus. TK, you should sneeze into your arm. You'll make Orbit sick sneezing on him like that. <sighs> I... I... Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yicky. Yicky is right. We need to get you some help. We sure do. And that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We think TK might have caught a space virus. We need to get her some help. Ah oh, dear. Poor TK. We'll find you some help right away. Ooh, sports planet. Playing sports is fun, but not so much fun when you're feeling sick. Magic planet. Magic tricks may cheer TK up, but I think she needs more than that to make her feel better. <laughs> Fix it, planet. That's it. That's where robots go when they're sick. The perfect place. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the fix it planet. Come on, TK. I think the fix it clinic is this way. Nice, it's here. Wow. Huh? Ooh. Huh? Uh, don't you mean, wow, it's nice here? Orbit, are you feeling okay? Ew, TK, you sneezed all over me. Sorry, Rob. Whoa! The space virus has turned you blue! <laughs> Are you okay, TK? <laughs> Will you get clinic? To the end, you'll soon better be. What did you say? I know, don't. My words coming out funnier. No, oh, no, oh. Ah! What's wrong with him? Ah! I don't understand what he's saying. He must have caught TK's huh? space virus. Eee! Oh. Orbit, now you need to get to the clinic, too. Huh? Like you 
caught the space virus, too. Hmm. Uh <sighs> Our mission is getting bigger. We need to get all three of you to the clinic and fast. Don't worry, Rob. I'll help you. All of you. Uh... <sighs> Hold on, you guys. Thanks, Emma. You got us here. But that's not. You know, maybe we should just go. I'm not sneezing all the time. Maybe being sick isn't so. Bad. So, how are they gonna fix us? I mean, are they gonna take us apart? Don't be silly. The doctor will help fix you and make you feel better. That's what doctors do. What is the problem and how can I help? Oh dear, your skin has turned green. No, I'm supposed to be green. It's my friends that are sick. They've all turned blue. Looks like Rob and TK keep sneezing, and Orbit talks really funny. There, hello. Oh my, it looks like your friends have caught the blue space virus. It affects everybody differently, but lucky for you, it only affects robots. Will, will you need to take us apart to fix us? Oh, oh dear, no! What I do need to do is have you get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. Phew. Oh, phew. Here, this will help speed things up, oh, and it's fun! There, you see the blue virus you caught? A virus infects the inside of our bodies and can make you feel sick. Fortunately, a robot virus is easy to remedy. I can gobble it up using my robot antivirus program. <laughs> Just remember, you still need to rest and drink plenty of liquids. We don't want you getting sick again. Phew! Thanks, Thanks Doc. Doc. I feel much better. And you sound better too, Orbit. Thanks, Dr. Bot. Looks like that. Mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, TK was sick. She had caught a nasty space virus. Uh, 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 so, we went to the Fix-It Planet to help TK feel better. TK forgot to sneeze into her sleeve and sneezed all over poor Orbit. Soon, he caught the virus too. We were finally about to head to the clinic when I caught the virus too. We were nervous to see the doctor, but she turned out to be really nice. We learned that doctors only want to make you feel better. And after our visit and a bit of rest, all of us feel great. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, 
go to get new upgrades so we can catch Sweet. He's one motoring mouse, isn't he? Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The sports planet would be a great place to go, but after we get all fixed up. <laughs> Not the stinky foot planet. No one wants to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Now that looks like a place where we can get ourselves fixed up. Yay! Yes, that's the tune-up planet. Excellent place for robots to get upgraded. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Turn us into super robots. Squeak won't stand a chance. Ha ha! Wait a minute. Why do you want to change yourselves? We can find other ways to catch Squeak. I suppose we could, but this is more fun. Yeah. But. I want. With those new fins, I'll be able to zig and zag at the same time. But you fly great with your boots now, Rob. I'm not sure. Look! I can get magnet arms. Those will help me round up our metal mouse. I guess that's neat. But what's wrong with the arms you have? Those are magnet arms, Emma. Ooh! Aha! A Turbo 5000 wheel. I can upgrade my 
my wheel to one of those. But you're really fast now, TK. But this will make me even faster. But I still don't see why you're not happy with the way you are. Upgrades are a robot thing, Emma. Maybe you don't understand because you're not a robot. <sighs> well, I guess if it makes you happy, but don't worry, Emma. It will be fun. Let's go! Are you sure you want to do this? Yes! Just push the button! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like getting upgrades tickles. Control? <laughs> I am the Magnet Man. Check him out, TK. Take a closer look. A little too close. Maybe your new arms are too powerful, Orbit. <laughs> <laughs> I love my new rocket boot fins. Are they cool or what? Yeah, they're really nice, Rob. But listen, everyone. You won't need your upgrades after all, because I think I figured out a way to catch Squeak without them. Why, Emma? Now we can outrun him, outmaneuver him, and magnetically stop him in his tiny tracks. Oh, there he is! to try harder. Shouldn't we try to be smarter? What do you mean, Emma? I'm not sure that your upgrades are such a great idea. I'm afraid you're gonna end up hurting. I'm on it. Leave it to me. To yourselves. You can't outmaneuver me now. may have damaged your fins. Well, that won't stop me from catching them this time. <laughs> Maybe it will. Don't worry, Rob. I'm on it. I'm going full speed this time. <laughs> made you better. They just made you different. Emma's right. Even with our upgrades, we couldn't catch Squeak. I liked you all just the way you were. I guess we'll just never be able to tag Squeak. Like I was trying to say before, I think I might know a way. Would you like some cheese, Squeak? Huh? I'm glad you like it, Squeak. Oh, and by the way, you're it! <laughs> no matter how fast he is, he will always come for a bit of cheese. 
Okay, let's get rid of these upgrades. Then it's mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we can never catch Squeak when we play tag. So we went to the tune-up planet to get upgrades to help us catch him. Our new upgrades made us faster and able to turn quicker and suck things up. But they didn't help us catch Squeak at all. We learned that changing didn't make us better, just different. And that a good way to catch a mouse is with a nice piece of cheese. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five! Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Tuna. Hi, everybody. You're just in time. <laughs> You're a great monkey in the middle, Rob. Oh. You're too fast for me, Emma. Oh, I got it. No, I got it. No, we, we got, got it. it. <laughs> I wish we could keep playing all day and all night. Well, why don't we? What do you mean, Emma? We can have a slumber party. That will be fun! What's so fun about going to sleep? We sleep every night on the rocket. Slumber parties aren't about going to sleep. They're about fun and games and staying up late. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to find the best planet in the whole robot galaxy for a sleepover! That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Let's go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. <laughs> wow, it's the rainbow planet. Ooh. It looks pretty, but I don't think we could play or sleep on rainbows. Ooh. I think it would be too cool to sleep on the ice planet. Hmm. That looks like a good place for a slumber party. Yes, the bedtime planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
I thought you said we were going to stay up. Orb, it's right. The best sleepovers are the ones where you stay up late. Right. I'm all for that. Tag, you're it, TK. Trying to keep us all awake?
Good thing teddy bots have sisters. <laughs> 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 Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the bedtime planet for a slumber party. We played lots of fun games. So many that we got very tired. But Orbit wanted to keep playing. Then, we discovered Orbit was afraid he might have bad dreams. So TK let Orbit borrow her teddy bot to sleep with. Then he was okay. We learned that staying up late sometimes is fun. But in the end, you always have to go to bed. And sometimes, we need a little help going to sleep. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four. to have a good egg hunt. Yeah! That sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can hunt for eggs. An egg hunt? That sounds like a cracking good idea. Let's see where you can go. Golf planet? That's a great place to find golf balls, but not eggs. Oh. Origami planet? Who's ever heard of an origami egg? Not me. The egg planet! Perfect! Yes, the egg planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
what go? My eggs. They're gone. Missing. Lost. Oh, I can't find them. But I have Whoa. to. I must <gasps> find my eggs. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Hey, where are you going? Warden, and I have a real egg emergency on my hands. An egg emergency? A big egg emergency. I accidentally knocked over a big basket of eggs, and six of them rolled away. I need to find all of them right now. We can help you. How hard can it be to find six eggs? Yeah, that's why we came to the egg planet, to have an egg hunt. Really? You'll help? Okay, but I warn you, it's not all it's cracked up to be. The eggs can be hard to find and catch. Ah, there's one now. Oh, gotcha. oh you come back here. Ah, there you go. Safe and sound. You did it. You caught the egg. One down, five more to go. Yoo-hoo! Little lost eggs! Shh! I hear something. Huh? Oh. than it looks. We can do this. Ready? One, two, three! Oh, oh. Hey. Oh, oh. I did it! Look, I got it! Great! See? That was easy peasy. Oh. oh. Wow! Check out all these flowers. They're pretty, but we don't have time to waste, Orbit. We've got... <laughs> oh, shoo, eggs to find. Besides, these flowers are making me sneeze. Hmm. Oh. It sounds like you're getting a cold, Emma. That wasn't me who sneezed. Well, if it wasn't you, then... Who? <laughs> Oh, look! An egg! I found an egg! No way, egg! You can't egg skate orbit! The egg hunter! Ha ha! Ooh, I think we've got him, orbit! <laughs> orbit! Are you okay? I'm okay. But the egg got away. Ooh, those eggs sure are sneaky. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see any eggs anywhere. Boy, they sure are good at hiding. We found two. That means we need to find four more eggs. But where could they be? Hmm. <laughs> more in luck. Follow us. <laughs> All that running around must have tuckered them out. It's time for their egg nap. And look, they're fast asleep. Oh, they're so cute. If we're extra quiet, it should be easy to gather them up now.
All six eggs! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> so what happens now, Mr. Egg Warden? We need to sort the eggs into their special homes. The purple egg goes in the purple home. The blue egg goes in the blue. <laughs> the yellow egg goes... I know! In the yellow home. I guess the pink egg goes here. What do we do with this green one? One! There's only one green egg. There's supposed to be two. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're missing an egg. A green egg. Wait. I forgot. I put it in here for safekeeping. But why is it making that noise? <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, no! It broke! Ooh! Wow! A baby chick! How feathery. How cute! So this <laughs> isn't just an egg sorting station. It's an egg nursery. Yes, and thanks to all of you, these eggs will hatch into baby chicks. But I hope they weren't too much trouble for you. Are you kidding? That was the most excellent egg hunt ever! This is one big mission accomplished! Yeah! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today we went to the Egg Planet, where we met the Egg Warden. He needed help finding and sorting some lost eggs. So we went on an egg hunt. It was hard work, but we eventually rounded up and sorted all of the eggs. Even the one hiding in TK's tummy trunk. We got to watch the eggs hatch into baby chicks. It was egg extraordinary. Wonderful. Mission accomplished. Now I think it's time to go home. To buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Egg Planet. Yo ho ho! Ahoy there, me hearties! You're just in time. Rob, why are you talking funny? Because today is intergalactic act like a pirate day, and I'm trying to act like a pirate. <gasps> oh no! What happens to your eye? Nothing, Orbit. My eye is just fine. It's a pirate eye patch. There's more to being a pirate than just looking like one and talking like one, isn't there? Hmm. Maybe there's a place we can go where we can learn how to act like pirates. For real! Oh, yeah! That sounds like a mission! And you know what that means! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a place where we can learn how to act like real pirates. Or Well, shiver me timbers. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The clown planet. <laughs> that looks like fun, but we want to act like pirates, not clowns. Oh. <gasps> Pet Planet has a lot of pets to play with, but not a lot of pirates. Oh! <laughs> Look! The Buccaneer Planet! <gasps> and Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Yeah! That's a great place for our mission! Yeah! Yes, the Buccaneer Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
first off, the Buccaneer Planet. you back to this part of the galaxy. Today is intergalactic act like a pirate day, and we want to learn how to act like real pirates. And if anyone can teach us how to act like a pirate, Nosebump can. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be honored to teach you how to act like me, the proper pirate way. Awesome. Hooray! This is going to be fun. Thanks, Nosebump. Now, First step to acting like a real pirate is sounding like a real pirate. Repeat after me. Arr, shiver me timbers. Arr, shiver me timbers. Well, scupper me supper. That was all righty, mateys. You sound just like pirates, sure and true. We do? Great! Great! Oh, great. But there'd be plenty more to know about acting like a real pirate. So follow me, me hearties. All hands on deck! Aye, aye, aye Captain! Aye, 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 aye! Here be your next lesson. The next step to learning how to act like a real pirate is to learn a few real pirate steps. Oh, if you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen to me. Then yo ho ho, and up we go over the briny sea. <laughs> Look at Nosebump go! <laughs> what kind of a dance is that? I know. It's called a jig. That's how real pirates dance. Sure and true, Miss Emma. Come on, everyone. Give it a whirl. Oh, if you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen to me. Then it's yo ho ho and off we go over the briny sea. Stop the music. That's not the right way to dance a jig. Emma is a fine dancer. But you can't be adding spins or twirls to a pirate jig. It's the pirate way or no way. And the captain knows best. Okay, Nosebump. You're the expert. We want to act like real pirates do, and we'll do whatever you say. Yeah, that's the spirit. Now, it's on to your next pirate lesson. There be the perfect spot to bury me treasure. Because every pirate knows that X marks the spot. Hmm? Oh boy, oh boy. I wonder what kind of treasure is inside the chest. Gold? Silver? Precious jewels? <laughs> nope. Oranges. Uh, I love oranges. And we pirates always bury our most prized possessions. It's the pirate way. But that doesn't make much sense. You should keep oranges in a refrigerator so they don't go bad. Ah, that's true. I've lost many an orange this way and more bananas than I can count. But it's the pirate way. And it's the pirate way or no way. Huh? 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 Arr, shiver me timbers. I'm stuck. <gasps> Arr, belay that tugging and pulling. The only way to get a pirate out of a treasure hole is to dig him out. Mm -hmm. That's the pirate way. Aye, 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 Captain. So, where's your shovel? I buried it. The favorite shovel it was. But it's around here someplace. Here, it lies where the X marks the spot. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> we'll find that shovel the pirate way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 So that's 
that's where those got to. There for making me perfect pirate pancakes. Ice skates and comic books? And a big bunch of balloons? Not just balloons, buccaneer balloons. In all me favorite colors they are. Yeah. This isn't working. There are too many X's. And it'll be dark soon. <gasps> Captain, I know you want us to dig you out the pirate way, but maybe there's another way to do that. But the pirate way is the only way. It's not the only way, Nosebump. Look, we can use the things we found to get you out. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> that slippery butter should do the trick. Now hold on, Captain, because here we yo-ho-ho-go! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Thanks, me hearties. And I've learned me lesson. There's more than just the pirate way to get a deed done. <laughs> yeah. Like how eating oranges is better than burying them. Agreed. Well done. You're all officially pirates. Sure and true. Arr! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nosebump. I'd say this be another big mission. Accomplished. Arr! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we wanted to learn how to act like real pirates. So we went to the Buccaneer planet to learn from Nosebump the pirate. Arr! He was really stuck in his old pirate ways and thought that the pirate way was the only way to do something right. But when Nosebump got stuck, he learned that it's important to try different ways to solve problems instead of sticking to the old way. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. Four, three, 